So one of the things about men's health, right? Vega. I use this right now to help take care of my body as much as possible. I'm trying to stay away from all them crazy foods. So I'm about to go ahead and make this shake. And then after that, we're back to the healthy route. So that's what I mean by men's health. Watch what you eat. What's up, man? To my open-minded people, open TV, much love, you heard? I keep telling y'all, man, that water's consistent. I'm damn right near through. You guys already know, I probably drink, you guys already done seen so many episodes, I done cleared so much bottle of water. You guys already know, I'm goody on my side. But, men's health, and this is why this is important. The water is good, not just for men, but for women, for all of us. Men's health, and I wanna get right into it, I wanna dive right in the aguinal hernia, which corresponds with men's health. So, I got the surgery, fellas, uh, to my ladies and gentlemen, I got hernia surgery two weeks ago, from today. From today, or from tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, this is Wednesday. Don't worry about that. How did I get a hernia? Let's just uh, start off with there before I tell you guys about the surgery. I'm not quite sure how I got a hernia. Not really quite sure to give you guys some information that was told to me and a little bit of research. As baby boys, baby boys are born with their testicles in their back. And the testicles fall forward into the scrotum, which I guess there's a, a hole there or something that's supposed to close. And maybe that area does not close. So there's a weak spot in your abdominal. So with the weak spot being in your abdominal, uh, as you get older, that leaves a slippage for an intestine to slip through. So, for me, my doctor told me that when he was doing the surgery, he found that, you know, it probably wasn't the gym. It was probably something I was born with and et cetera, et cetera. If you guys want to listen to the rest, why? Just know I got a hernia. So, as years went on, I'm older, I played collegiate sports, I played high school sports, and I continue to, and I continue to play sports and go to the gym. So maybe the hernia started to grow, and now I start to see a lump. Now, boom, surgery time. I'm in there. I'm nervous as hell. Don't really like surgery. This is my second surgery. My first surgery was a labral hip tear. That was from football. So, hey, for my football players, you guys already know, man. Surgery is like checking in to, like, McDonald's or something when you die and eat for food. I don't know if that related, but you guys get me. So, hey, I got the hernia surgery, and... Let me tell you guys about the recovery process for those who have to get the hernia. Well, the first thing, I was on YouTube like crazy, trying to find some type of guidance, some help, because what I mean, I had no one home with me. My mom was helping my sister out, so my mom wasn't with me. My lady's in Arizona. So I'm just in a whole spot where I got to deal in this big house that I live in by myself with this hernia. I did get some assistance. My mom did come through, help me out sometimes, but I was by myself for the most part. And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. The first thing, as I said, that no one really spoke about is the possibility of some swollen balls. Yo, my cojones was like this big, bro. Yo, you, fellas, when you guys get this surgery, there's a possibility that your testicles might be very filled up with, um, with the, uh, Fluid, yes, it might be filled up with fluid. And you're gonna get nervous. This shit is gonna be so rock solid, you're gonna be like, what the hell is going on? And that was in my mind. That was in my mind. So you might deal with that, but it will go down. Put a heating pad, put some ice for a few days. After some ice for maybe two or three days after the surgery, four days, you know, definitely go ahead and put some heat to reduce and, uh, and all that uh, fluid will, um, disappears very, very slowly, and take Advil, is, um, it's an anti-inflammatory, so it'll cool things down. So I went through that, I freaked out, so I think that's the first thing I should tell you guys, is about my swollen ball sack. Like, that was not normal for me, nor did I think that that was gonna happen. So for you guys who got hernias already, and you guys are like, nah, I don't wanna get the surgery, which I'm gonna get to that later on, you guys might wanna reconsider. Now. After the swollen ball sack, you deal with a uh, swollen stomach. Your stomach is very, very, you know, the doctors was in there. They was inside your body. They was, had the tools up. I had the laparoscopic, so I had three minor incisions. 
And uh, they, you know, they went in, they did what they had to do, they did their job. And you know, I have three little ones again, small decisions. And you're gonna deal with a swollen stomach. Your stomach is gonna be real bloated, real annoying. You, <laughs> to me, I kind of related to like the male version of having a kid because I don't know what it is to give birth, but I know what it is to have hernia surgery. And for your stomach to feel that goddamn heavy, that's how I was gonna feel for me. It was heavy. It, it was hard. Oh, and let me backtrack a little bit for you guys too. The swollen balls, if you guys get that, or even just the stomach, it's very hard to move. So to help you guys with the with the recovery process, take the medicine that's required. Take some Advil, anti-inflammatory, some Tylenol. They're going to tell you to take Tylenol. Be careful with the oxycodone if that is given to you or whatever high doses with medication they do give you. Just be careful with all of that. And then... You guys got to rest, man. You guys got to sit down. When you guys get this hernia surgery, do not move. Just sit right there. Like, don't move. Don't move. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Don't move. Do not move. Once you move, you're going to feel all everything crashing down. I say this, like, for the first maybe, ah, I got surgery on a Thursday. Friday, I was still drugged up, so I didn't feel much. Saturday, still drugged up. Thursday, still drugged up. Wait. I said Thursday again, Sunday still drugged up. Once Monday came, a train hit me. I was in agonizing pain, and that's when my mom left. My mom had to leave to go help my sister out. So now I, I'm in I'm in limbo. I'm in limbo. I'm calling I'm calling my dad to help me out. I'm calling different types of resources here, looking up resources, trying to help me out here. And uh, hey, listen, you know what? I'm a little bit impatient sometimes, so. When I had hip surgery, I had a little bit more patience with that. The hernia, this is my organs, I'm more concerned. But, gotta be patient with it. It will go down, the swelling will go down, everything will get better. It just takes a long time. And that long time, you're gonna be frustrated. You're gonna be frustrated, you're gonna be frustrated, you might be depressed. I tell you, I didn't want to get a haircut, I was rough. You know, I think my beard grew a few more inches after the damn surgery. So, recovery time. Understand that the body will take time. Understand that you need to sit your ass down and you cannot move. It is what it is. If you do not get the surgery, let me tell you guys this. If you guys decide not to get the surgery, there's a few things you might have to worry about. Activities. Your activities is gonna limit itself. You're not gonna be able to do as much. When I had this hernia, before I even knew I had a hernia, I was playing flag football, but I, I was trying to understand why I couldn't, you know, pick up my leg as much. Or why when I was in the gym, when I squat, I couldn't go down the way I wanted to. So your activity rate is going to slow down. And you might not know what it is until you get it checked out. Now, moving from the activity part, the hernia could get bigger. The longer you wait, the worse the hernia could be. So now, you probably had maybe a little hole in your stomach about, I'm giving an example, I'm not a doctor, I'm just giving an example. Maybe like this big, right? Now, since you never took care of it, you waited a long time, now it gets this big. And then, if it's inguinal, guess what? Your intestines cut, fall inside your scrotum. Now, what's your scrotum? If no one don't know what that is, you should, your ball sack. It falls in there, then they gotta take all them intestines out. Then now that the fluid that's gonna be in your boss is gonna be real hefty, hefty, hefty. So you guys might want to take care of that as soon as possible if you know you have a hernia. Uh, if you guys wanna know some symptoms that deal with the hernia, some symptoms is that um, a bulge. Um, that's really the symptom I had. I had a bulge. I, I seen something. It was uh, it was very hard to pick up my leg. Hard to do my regular daily activity. I go to the gym, so. Um, it was just hard to, to lift and do certain things again. So you're going to notice it. Once you see a lump in your chest, I, I haven't had the chest one, but I'm pretty sure same kind of concept. You see a lump, that's unusual. You should definitely go ahead and check that out. And there could possibly be a hernia inside the abdominal. Just understand that if you, the older you get, the harder the surgery is to do. So if you're young, 
definitely get the surgery as soon as possible. And what's young? Obviously, if you're a teenager, that's young. If you're in your early 20s, that's young too. And if you're in your 30s as well, that's still uh, fairly young, 40s too. Uh, once you hit that 60, 50 marker, I'll be, I'll be a little nervous and I'll probably decide to just keep this hernia within me because you don't have the ability, some males or women who go through hernias, you don't have the capability to take all that pain and agony or to even go through that surgery. Now, the importance of men's health. It's important that men stay healthy as much as possible. You guys already know the statistic. If you guys don't, let me tell you, women live a lot longer than men. So, hey fellas, stay consistent with yourself and take care of yourself. Watch what you eat, get some rest, and um, just pay attention to your body. You know, there's ways that we could go ahead and take care of ourselves, which is number one, staying active, and number two, I gotta say it again, watching what you eat, eating fruits, eating vegetables, those things help. So with all those things, you guys are able to live longer, take care of your body, then see the signs once your body is transitioning to something else. Your body's gonna change. You can't fight it, just accept it. The body is going to change. So you might as well just start to learn new eating habits. You can't eat the skin off the chicken. It's not all about pork all the time. You might have to start eating some leaves. <laughs> You might have to be a deer for a day or two and all the rest of your life if you want to live a little longer. Now, I'm not saying you guys can't eat all the wild things anymore, but you guys might have to change your diet as time progresses. So, hope you guys get the picture of everything I'm saying. So, once again, longevity of life. You have to live longer, fellas. We got to live longer. Staying active is going to help you live longer. Watching what you eat is going to help you live longer. And all those things, makes, it, makes, it makes us look good all those things make us look good you stay strong you know then your wife or your girlfriend or the lady see you like yo you look good baby so you want to keep that you want to keep that macho look see i haven't been you know to the gym after you know surgery you know going to the gym help out you were but hold on go to the gym go to the gym too fellas that is also going to help your health going to the gym but you guys don't got to lift all crazy man I think I was messing up but that, still thinking I'm that football player that could squat full plate. I could do that. I'm not saying that caused my hernia. I can do that. But, but, why? <laughs> That's the question. Why? Why are you squatting full plates if you're not doing no type of Olympics, man? You're wasting all of that power. All of that. Use it for something else. So, fellas, go to the gym, but watch out. You guys don't got to do the most. Right? It's not only for my fellas and females are watching this too, the same for you. So, I think I gave you guys a very informative uh, episode here. And uh, the importance of health go a long way. I hate saying the word importance, like importance, important, important. On that note, try to go plant-based too. I think, I think plant-based ain't that bad. I think someone in my eye. But I'm out of here. Deuces. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, yeah, bye.